Tess of the D'Urbervilles is a novel by Thomas Hardy which tells the story of a young woman who is sent to a distant relative to find her fortune. The novel is a reflection of tragedy and beauty, exploring the themes of fate, family, and social class. We will take a look into this classic novel, examining its characters, themes, and symbolism, as we dive into this beloved work of literature. We explore the timeless classic, Tess of the D'Urbervilles, a novel written by the great English author Thomas Hardy. This story revolves around a young woman struggling against the shackles of Victorian society. Hardy's exquisite work of literature reveals the unfair circumstances of this time period and raises thought-provoking questions about justice and morality. It is filled with breathtaking language, imagery, and characters that will remain with the reader for years to come. Let us now delve into this captivating story. Tess of the D'Urbervilles is a classic novel that paints a vivid image of Tess's life and her relationships with the people around her. Author Thomas Hardy constructs complex and compelling characters, enabling readers to relate and empathize with them. Tess faces tough decisions in her innocence. Alec's love for her is intense yet mistaken. Angel struggles with his conscience and feelings, and Joan is portrayed as resilient and altruistic. This tragedy of beauty and sorrow stands out due to its intricate web of characters and their relationships. The novel Tess of the D'Urbervilles gives an insight into the unfortunate destiny of its protagonist, Tess. All throughout the book, Tess is presented as an innocent sufferer of the rigid norms and lack of possibilities in the society. Her tragedy wasn't only a consequence of her decisions but also of the constrictions that society had imposed on her as a financially poor working-class female. Her ultimate fate brings out the inequality between men and women that had existed in Victorian society. It serves as a reminder of our advances in women's rights and how much we have grown since then. Nature plays a prominent role in Tess of the D'Urbervilles. Thomas Hardy adeptly employs imagery to illustrate the unleashing power of the natural world. The vastness of nature is employed to bring solace but also to embody the cruelness of life. Through Hardy's intricate storytelling, we are given a glimpse into the intricacies of human existence and how nature can shape our lives. Thomas Hardy's Tess of the D'Urbervilles is a timeless classic, with its poignant and gripping story of Tess's struggles to find love and acceptance, in a society that is determined to keep her from achieving happiness. The novel offers a powerful critique of Victorian society, exploring the complex roles that class, gender, and religion play in determining people's destinies. Through Tess's interactions with people of all backgrounds, Hardy exposes the hypocrisy and corruption of the upper classes, and challenges the audience to take an honest look at the power structures that shape our lives. Tess of the D'Urbervilles invites us to a meaningful conversation about what it means to be truly free. As we explore the world of Tess of the D'Urbervilles, Stonehenge stands out as a powerful symbol. This ancient stone monument in England represents an enduring and unchanging force in stark contrast to the fleeting nature of life. For Tess, Stonehenge serves as a refuge and solace while simultaneously being a reminder of her tragic fate. Through this symbolism, Thomas Hardy encourages readers to reflect on the themes of fate, mortality, and the enduring power of nature. The importance of setting in classic literature becomes more evident with advances in technology, allowing us to read classic literature in an immersive way. This takes us to the places mentioned in the book, allowing us to have a better understanding of the complexity of classic literature and gain more insight on the characters and the stories they tell. Technology can further deepen our appreciation for classic literature, so let's take a look at how it can do so. I'm sure you're familiar with the classic novel Tess of the D'Urbervilles, written by Thomas Hardy. In this presentation we'll be exploring the use of irony in the novel. We see how the main character Tess, despite her purity and innocence, finds herself in situations of unfortunate irony. 
We see how she is punished for something she was not responsible for, only to be faced with an unequal and unjust society. Through examples like these, Hardy's use of irony adds depth and complexity to the story. Throughout the novel Tess of the D'Urbervilles, Thomas Hardy questions the complex moral fabrics of society and their consequences on the individual. By closely following Tess' experiences Hardy brings to the forefront the damaging effects of judgment and condemnation, and the need to respect personal values. As readers we are encouraged to reflect on our own beliefs and challenge our own moral compass. Through this exploration we are able to gain an insight into how our own actions can have a ripple effect on those around us and reconsider right from wrong. In Thomas Hardy's classic novel, Tess of the D'Urbervilles, fate is a fundamental element in the characters' lives. From the start, Tess's former noble family is hampered by misfortune, setting the tone for Tess's unfortunate story. As the story progresses, events appear to occur with no room for change, as if the characters are without control over their fate. However, the novel is not solely about determinism. It centers on the intricate relationship between fate and free will. The choices we make have the power to shape our destiny, as observed with Tess. After she chooses to keep her past a secret, she is met with consequences. This mix of fate and free will adds further complexity to the narrative. The title Tess of the D'Urberville symbolizes the multifaceted messages and implications in the book. Tess's first name conveys purity and innocence while her surname alludes to her lineage to a wealthy and wealthy family. This opposition between social classes and the difficulties of those in between is exemplified. The possessive apostrophe in the title also reveals the power people and society have over Tess's life, as she is repeatedly subjected to the decisions of others. This title is a reminder of the hardship endured by the less fortunate, a concept that runs through the course of the novel. Reading Tess of the D'Urbervilles provides a multifarious and intricate viewpoint. We witness both a compassionate and reproving exposition of Tess's conflicts and happenings through the narrator's point of view. This duality stimulates readers to evaluate their opinions on ethics and obligation. Moreover, the narrator's standpoint shapes our comprehension of the narrative, directing us through a subtle and thought-provoking journey. In Thomas Hardy's 19th-century classic, Tess of the D'Urbervilles, the author skillfully builds suspense and tension through his use of foreshadowing, hinting at Tess's eventual doom from the start of the story. Through this, Hardy compels readers to explore the tragic beauty of Tess's life, providing a mesmerizing look at the choices we make and the consequences we face. Tess of the D'Urbervilles has a strong and meaningful horse which reflects the character's battle with societal norms that confine them. Tess regards the horse as a way to escape her destiny, while Alec uses it to control and govern her. The horse also serves as a cue of the rustic life which is vanishing in the novel. It stands for the struggle to maintain traditions in the face of modernization and alteration. The late 19th century classic novel Tess of the D'Urbervilles by Thomas Hardy presents an archetypal female character, Tess who has to endure the expectations and constraints of the patriarchal society of the time. Hardy challenges his audience's perception of the role of women in society, exploring issues such as the lack of agency and opportunities they were afforded. He uses tests to draw attention to the unfairness of the society of the period, which led to the devaluing of women's roles and capabilities. By presenting this thoughtful examination of the social norms of the time, Hardy helps us gain insight into the challenges women had to face in the past. Tess of the D'Urbervilles, the classic novel by Thomas Hardy, is an enduring masterpiece due to his impressive use of imagery. One of the most powerful of these is his description of Stonehenge, its silhouettes looming against the backdrop of a captivating sunset. This scene provides a fitting metaphor for the battles Tess engages in during the novel. Hardy's work is remarkable and, for any fan of literature, 
Exploring it with Garukilplex Classics is essential. Examining Tess of the Durbervilles, we are presented with a complex narrative which forces us to consider the question of justice. We observe characters facing both just and unjust consequences for their actions, such as Alec Durberville's fate, which raises considerable questions as to whether those with power and privilege are held accountable. As we delve deep into this idea of justice, we investigate numerous themes of morality and unequal societal structures. Let us take this journey together to explore Tess of the Durbervilles and its take on justice. The ending of Tess of the Durbervilles leaves us with several difficult questions to consider. Tess's misfortune prompts us to think about justice, morality, and the degree of influence that fate has on our lives. Is Tess doomed by social conventions? Is there any hope for justice in an apparently cold and uncaring world? Each of us must take time to carefully think through these questions. It's clear that Tess of the Durbervilles is a timeless classic that still resonates with readers. Its vivid imagery and complex characters reflect the struggles of society, morality and fate, allowing us to explore and better understand the human condition. It is a brilliant and impactful tale that has inspired generations of readers. We would like to thank everyone for joining us for our Garukilplex Classics presentation.